Today I'm going to show you how to run a virtual Windows 11 machine on your Windows 11 PC in just a few clicks without using any additional software. Can you believe it? But yeah, it's possible and you don't even need to install Windows on that virtual machine. I use virtual machines on a regular basis mainly for software testing that may contain viruses. You'll need a Windows 11 based PC with any version except the home. Open the control panel. If you don't have a shortcut, click on Start and type Control Panel. Then click on Programs and Features, and then click on Turn Windows Features on or off. In the Appear dialog, scroll down the list of optional features, select Windows Sandbox, and click OK. Once the settings are applied, click Restart Now. Then click on Start and type Sandbox. Here it is. You can pin it to the Start menu, Taskbar, or simply open the file location, right-click the shortcut, and drag it to the desktop to create a new one. Let's start the virtual machine. As you can see, it starts pretty fast and is ready for use, including an internet connection. The system specs are pretty simple here. You get 4 gigs of RAM, a 40 gig disk, and the CPU shared from your host system. To install apps or transfer files from the host to the virtual machine, simply copy the files you need on the host PC, and then paste them in the virtual machine window. The drag and drop feature isn't available here. Let's install VLC Player. As you can see, it works super fast, sometimes even faster than the whole system. So in general, this system is perfect in case you need to visit some unsafe websites or test software that may have malware. But the biggest drawback of the system is that you can't save its state. Once you close this window, you lose all changes, software and files in this virtual machine. But anyway, it's very easy and simple to use. If you want a fully functional virtual machine, where you can install any operating system, adjust its hardware, BIOS and other features, then you have to look into VMware Virtual Machine. I have a bunch of videos on how to use it. Also, I have a video on Android Virtual Machine. All the links will be at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.